Hello, welcome to Prophetic Word of Revelations. I'm your host, Patricia P. Clare. How are you feeling out today? Well, I hope you're feeling blessed because you know that I am. You know, what I wanted to say, and that is, I'm led to tell you to be able to have an emergency backpack packed up for emergencies. You can be able to look at the Taliban and how they have just taken control over those people land and being able to take their spoils. So that's in the Bible. When there's war, they take your spoils. They take anything that's on the person, um, such as jewelry and etc. And that God wants you to be prepared for what's coming to the United States. Let that be a picture as a preview so you can be prepared. So when an emergency takes place or even if you have to evacuate concerning floods also God lets me know and that is that there's going to be a famine this can take place around October it's because all that water that was released in different isolated areas you know different cities different counties different countries or whatever that water has covered up all the different foods that would be the harvest um, for October. So not necessarily all the food, but it's definitely going to affect the harvest for October. Okay, so that means what's going to happen? That's going to allow it to be a drought. And then a drought then cause it to be a famine. So don't try to wait at the last minute. It's because that will not be favorable for you. What can you do if there's an emergency and you have to do an evacuation? Or even if there are chaos uh, that would take place in the United States, like you see, like the Taliban's. What can you have with you? Well, you should already have a backpack already packed up to go. If you have four people in your house, there should be four backpacks in an area that would be easy to grab because you will only have time to grab something that's ready to go if you have time to do that when an emergency takes place. Okay, what should be in that backpack? Well, you should have some perishable foods such as peanut butter. This is real easy to be able to put in your mouth to sustain you from the hunger, which is your protein. Also, this is very convenient. Look at this can of soup. You can be able to just pop that lid and there you go. Also, you should have perishable water in your backpack. You should also um, be able to have other foods that you can throw in your mouth that you can be able to um, survive from. Uh, feel free to be able to go to my website and I have a list of the things should be in your backpack such as duct tape, scissors. You should be able to have matches, a lighter, you should be able to have a knife, a weapon, you know, to protect yourself and your family. And I give you a list of other items, first aid kit. All these things should be packed up and you should have a map, a memorable uh, picture of your family. Because when disasters takes place, you know, everything is destroyed, majority in their home, you know. So you want to be able to be prepared. That's what you want to do, not just um, believe in the word of God, because God says faith without works are dead. So we got to have faith and say, what are my works? What can I do? So feel free to go to my website at www.thehow, hyphen, which is a minus sign, to, which is to, channel.com. And my channel is going to bless you. Also, I have a listings of different movies you can check out to give you some pointers on what's really coming. So if you check out the Olympia Has Fallen, um, that gives you an idea. China is in that movie. You know, it's no coincidence you see in a lot of Chinese commercials. You see in a lot. You even saw that at the Olympics. Okay, wasn't that crazy? The thing is, Check out The Olympics Has Fallen. The Olympia Has Fallen. And that movie is actually showing you how the United States uh, will be taken over by China. Okay? Um, that'll give you some ideals um, and some perspectives 
so you can be able to know really what's coming someday. Another thing, check out the other videos that I have listed and it would give you some pointers on if you was in that situation, what would you do? Amen and amen. You know, it's a scripture in the Bible where it talks about count it that you would be able to escape. Wow. Can you count the preparations that you have already done that would allow you to escape? I tell people if you're living in an area where there's a lot of water, a lot of floods going on, you need to make sure you have a life jacket, okay? For those that are um, dealing with all of those fires, you just really need to get out, all right? So when the situations takes place and, and you see all of these things taking place in the streets, you really wouldn't be able to drive, you know, like on your major, your major um, streets. It's because they're going to be bombarded when an event takes place. So you want to be thinking in advance, not just to say you have the place of where you at, but also it's good to be able to have a second place to say that this is a place for our safetyness since we cannot go back to our home. Take care and God bless and may this be an alert to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen.